Hi, everybody. Uh, I got another uh, card flip through for y'all. Uh, this is for, let's see if it's going to show up, the Healing Waters Oracle deck by Rebecca Campbell. It's really a pretty deck. I haven't used it yet. I just got it. Um, it was just released this month, I think like last week or week before last, something like that. Um, it comes with, of course, it comes with the guidebook. And it comes with this really, um, this really great card. I don't know if you can really see it. One just tells you a little bit about the deck. And then on the flip side are three separate prayers that you can say to help get you in tune with the deck and to help the deck connect to you, to your heart, to your soul, um, which is really kind of cool. Um, there are a few Oracle decks that do do things like that. They'll give you set um, uh, uh, set prayers or something to say to help you connect to the deck. Um, and I mean, you may be comfortable doing something like that and you may not. That kind of varies person to person. Um, I'm still new with a lot of this. I mean, I've only been doing this for a few years now. So um, I try everything when somebody says, hey, try this. It might help you connect a little better. Well, I'm usually the first one to stand in line and say, I'll try it. <laughs> so um, just to give it a shot. And sometimes it helps and it works. And sometimes it doesn't. And that's okay, too. Um, you just have to do what feels right for you. So we're going to flip to the other camera now so that we can go through the cards and um, they come with, uh, before we get started, I mean, they're, they're pretty good card stock on it. They're pretty thick, but they're not so thick that you can't shuffle them. Um, and they're not so huge that you can't handle them. Um, they're still bigger than a normal size of playing cards. Uh, so you have to kind of be creative with your shuffling. I personally tend to shuffle from the corners and the sides. Um, it just makes it easier. And um, in some decks, it, it just, because of the card stock or the, the kind of um, a texture that they put on the card, you just can't get them to shuffle. And so you have to do other means of, of mixing them up and and making sure that, that you're getting a good mix of the cards before you start reading them. So, and most of us know this, different decks are, you handle different ways. That's just the way it goes. Um, uh, no harm, no foul. Just like to give y'all a fair warning. Some people like to steer clear of the thicker card stocks because they have a real trouble handling them. Now, also this, um, this deck was, part of i joined um through hay house and uh colette baron reed i joined the oracle the is it the oracle deck club or the card deck club something like that and it's like every three months you get two to three decks that are new or that are being repurposed and re reissued um and so you get these beautiful cards. Uh, my first box, I just got my first box a few weeks ago and both decks were like brand new decks. They weren't even out in the public yet. So I kind of had to hold back before I did a flip through to, to put it out because I didn't want to put this stuff out there before they were officially launched, so to speak. I mean, they may not care, but then again, they might. So I don't want to ruffle any feathers. And, um, but every three months you get a you get a box with uh, cards and other miscellaneous stuff that they send to just kind of help you continue to grow in your journey of using the cards and reading and um, and just to help you become a better reader and um, to be you know to help you get maybe a little bit more in tune with spirit so that you can get really good messages from spirit through the cards because that's all we're doing i mean cards are just a tool that we use in order to let spirit speak through us and to you 
so that we can help you answer your questions or figure out what's going on. We're not all 100% accurate by no means at all. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we read things wrong sometimes. It happens. Or, you know, what we pick up. I guess the most important thing for a lot of people to realize is that when you're reading the cards, you're reading on the energy of the now, of what is happening now. And that energy could change tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now. And therefore, the outcome would, would change and become different because the energy changes. And there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Now, with some readings, you will get energy fluxes. You know, it's like the, the energy kind of basically stays along the same path, but it'll kind of... Um, It'll kind of just, you know, uh, move around a little bit. You know, maybe it'll go this way for a little bit, and then it'll shift back that way. And so, you know, it's it's you can get a different reading from different readers simply because of the energy of the moment and the energy that that person is picking up. We don't always pick up the same energy. You know, my guides might tell me one thing, and then someone else's guides will tell them something else of the same issue, but they'll, it's like if you, if you blindfold five people and put them in the room with an elephant and they all reach out and touch the elephant at different places on its body, they're going to all describe something different because they can't see what the whole picture is, an elephant. All they can go by is what they can physically plug into in their little closed off area. And so you'll get very different um, descriptions of the same thing. Working with energy, working with spirit guides is pretty much the same from what I understand and just from my own personal experience. So... Enough of me blabbing on. Let me flip over here. I'm going to uh, switch cameras and uh, we'll get started. Hold on just a second. I'm still not really fast at this. Takes me a minute. Okay. And we're going to have to take off the background. Okay. There we go. We can see this. Okay. Uh, here we go. First card up is Atlantis. Keep the big vision. Stay in alignment as you grow. Beneath the surface. What's really driving you? True motives. Breaking free. Birth mysteries. What are you being called to create? Bounteous, generously given relationships coming together. Having to read this upside down, y'all forgive me. Sometimes it takes a minute before I realize what the word is. Cleansing, releasing the old, energetic tune-up, new beginnings. Clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, Right timing, opportunity. Cosmic ocean, current dreams, future realities, new beginnings. Deep sea diving, way of the mystic, learn through experiencing depths. In call, healer, seer. Priest, priestess, priestex, soul purpose. I think I said that correctly. Okay. Follow the stream, dedication, trust, future rivers and oceans. Gentle force, consistency, persistence, 
patience, the long game. The Healing Lagoon, Rejuvenate, Recovery, Time to Heal, It's Safe to Stop. Oops, picked up two at once here. Go back here, okay. Immerse yourself, training, learning, new hobbies, passions. Into the unknown, underworld, depth, courage, facing your fears. Isle of Avalon, healing, returning, oops, healing, returning to wholeness, transformation. Okay. Until they're new, the cards are sticking together. King Tide. Plenty, prosperity, receiving the fullness of life. Okay. Lady of the Lake, new beginnings. Something is a... All right, make up your mind now. Lady, Lady of the Lake, new beginnings. Something is about to happen. The camera was going out of focus there. Let it go. Release the past. Forgive. Soften. Move forward. Let it rain. Allowing what is an allowing what is inevitability. Trust. Making waves. Momentum is building. It's your time. Achievement. Metamorphosis. Embrace transformation. Things are now different. The mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Mother of the salt waters. Passion. Wild love. Open your heart. Let love in. The pearl, alchemy, the reward at the end, from grit to grace. The pink dolphin, celebration, fun, unbridled joy, open heart. Planetary wave, soul mission, trust the inner call, soul team. Plunge. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. The rainbow. Sweet relief. New beginnings. A new way forward. Ride the waves. Life lessons and growth. You will get through this. The ripple effect, part of something bigger. Details are taken care of. The sacred well, replenishment, self-care, giving from a place of plenty. Selkie, come out of hiding. Embrace who you really are. She who flows, ease, being open to change, go with the flow of life. Oops. Okay. The sirens, use your voice, expansion, freedom. Stagnant waters, feeling stuck, a call for shifts. Flow and change. The sweet waters, sensuality, romance, enjoyment, fertility, balance.
thank you, gratitude, appreciate what's sustaining you. The water carrier, what really matters, reflect, reprioritize. Water codes, ancient wisdom, the intelligence is within you. The water oracle, psychic abilities, acting on visions, it's destined. The waterfall, inner power, unbridled confidence, claiming your place. The well maidens, kindness, respect, reverence, compassion. Okay. The wellspring, what are you thirsty for? Body care, take a breath. Okay. Last but not least, the wishing well, unexpected gifts, kindness, karmic jewels. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay, that's it. That's the whole deck. I don't think I missed any. I think they all came out pretty good. So, um, sorry for the sound of the microwave in the background. Somebody obviously got hungry. <laughs> Can't blame them and decided to go ahead and fix their dinner. So, um, y'all have a great and lovely afternoon, evening, day, morning, whatever time it is when you see this. And I will see everyone soon. Bye for now.